Come and learn the ins and outs of strategic planning. You'll find out why you need to define your business in terms of the customer and why you must have the right ingredients in place to meet the customer's demands. This certification course will discuss how environmental factors such as technology and economics shape your company. You'll also see how the internal environment determines how well your organization responds to opportunities and threats. Hey, what's going on? It's Marky Williams and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. Enjoy the tutorial and the links that will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like this tutorial. If it was informative, subscribe so you won't miss out on any trending courses you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you'd like to get certified in and I can send you a link personally to check out. So let's get it started. So lesson one will begin by discussing the elements. You must use to effectively implement your strategic plan. In this lesson, students will study vision statements, move on to purpose and mission statements, and discuss goals, objectives, strategies, policies, and procedures. Next, this lesson will focus on company culture, and you'll find out why planning is beneficial. Once you have a good idea of how to develop and implement a, a strategic plan, you need to take the next step. You will learn how to organize resources so employees can perform job duties and relate to one another in the most effective way possible. It will share the purpose of organization and present several coordinating principles including authority, power, and span of control. It would also spend time exploring the staffing functions and evaluate the elements of recruitment. These three key management principles will be defined and explored into four theories. You'll learn about the type of the leadership and see how delegation and empowerment differs. The lessons will finish up by investigating control and learning how to effectively use three different control processes. It's important that you increase your readiness to use financial information to identify and understand problems and opportunities and also make decisions. This lesson will discuss the elements of the general ledger, explore a few key accounting terms, contrast accounting and bookkeeping, and investigate the different types of accounting. You'll learn about vital accounting concepts such as the accounting equation, debits and credits, and the cost principle. You'll also learn how to account for inventories and understand about the significance of cash flow. This lesson will also explain why sound cash management helps any company stay on the right path. In order to be successful and make meaningful decisions about the future, you must look ahead. One way to do this is by preparing budgets, accounting as a major organizational function, support a number of different types of budgets. This lesson will show you how to use the major budgets, including the department, administration budget, also known as an expense budget, the production materials budget, the maintenance, repairs, and operating, MRO budget, the capital budget, and zero-based budgeting. You will examine performance measurements as a way to keep track of progress. Study several that if you don't measure a process, you can't properly manage it. The lesson will begin with a discussion on how human nature affects performance measurements. You'll learn about the attributes and effective performance measurements and see how traditional and progressive performance measurements differ. Now that you have a basic understanding of business law, the last lesson will take a look at the four most popular organizational forms sole proprietorship, general partnership, limited partnership, and corporation. In this lesson, some time will be spent on talking about organization politics. Wherever people work together, you'll find politics. This lesson will go over the good and bad politics and discuss how ethics relate to politics. Many thanks for taking some time out to check my tutorial. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any training certification courses you may want to pick up. As always, hit the like button if you find this tutorial informative so I can continue making more content. Comment below as to what you'd like to get certified in. And once again, I can send you a personal link to check out. You can check me out on Facebook under Marky Williams. And there will also have a page online certification course you can like and follow as well. Many thanks. It's Marky Williams. And I'm out.